I'd like to play a, vol a role that is a villain because I think nobody would expect that from me. Oh my gosh, I think um, I really liked my moments with Noah. He's who I felt the closest with. Obviously, we're the closest in age. So we spent a lot of time being silly on set uh, and off set. You know, and it's nice to have somebody else closer to your own age. Um, you can really relate. And But everybody else, John and Emily and Killian, was so wonderful. I learned a great deal from them as actors and as humans. Um, so yeah, no, just incredible. I don't know. Um, I hope to give Reagan a spa day. <laughs> I think she really needs it, poor girl. Oh gosh, there's so many, but I really like Kate Blanchett from Blue Jasmine. I really love that movie. So I would love to work with her one day. Well, to be quite frank, I'd like to play a, vol a role that is a villain because I think nobody would expect that from me. <laughs> and I think it would be really fun to do something that's completely opposite to the good hero, right? And to come 180, you know, and, and what would stop me from doing that anyways? I mean, I never thought that I'd be that person <laughs> or that I'd be in the position that I'm in now. And it's really made me realize just how fortunate I am. And I'm doing everything that I can to show other children my age, and not just deaf children, but any children that experience that feeling of being different um, and give them a role model that I didn't have when I was growing up. And that really motivates me. And it's made my work, the work that I do, much more personal to me. Absolutely. I've experienced actually quite a few kids who've come up to me and said they feel represented. They've said that they want to be like me, that they want to be an actor one day, and all of that's really just, it's a, those, all of those moments have really impacted me. Um, and give me so much motivation to work even harder. So right now we're working on our pitch. So we're hoping that that's gonna come off. But I'm learning a lot as a producer in terms of the process and at what all the things that sort of need to happen behind the scenes from getting the actors and, and working with the writers. There's so many steps that happen in the background. And it's really nice to see how all of that comes together um, on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I think that it's a really unique idea because we're not just focused on one deaf character. So in this program, there'll be lots of deaf characters, which means that we can sort of offer the community different reflections of the deaf experience because not all deaf people are the same, right? So you can't just have one deaf person representing the entire community. So I'm really excited that I'm even able to provide a space for that. Amazing. So when I first heard that I was nominated for this award, and what a big deal this award is. I mean, I just felt so honored. It's so unreal, right? I'm quite proud of myself um, and that my acting skills have been considered good enough to get to this point. And I love that I'm getting this kind of visibility from such a large audience. And it's really changed how I view the industry.